guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video down here at Oxford Golf Centre. And I've got an interesting test for you tonight. Epic Flash versus Great Big Bertha. 150 versus 450. Now I haven't done a review on the Epic Flash, mainly because it's going to go down the same route as the TaylorMade M5 in terms of low spinning. Majority of the public won't be able to get it airborne. And, um, uh, but this is what they're designed for. They're designed for the longer hitter that low spin rate, that high launch, and um, just the powerhouses. Don't get me wrong, Great Big Bertha, the original was uh, definitely one of those momentous drivers like the SLDR. They came out, they launched that low spin driver even lower, um, and any pro put it in his hands was gaining distance, or faster club head speed player. However, what I want to know is that, can you still get the same with the older models? Can you save a bit of money and buy something that doesn't look as shiny or potentially nice but is still going to perform well out on the golf course guys let's get into the video if you liked this video give it a like if you're new welcome please subscribe and yeah let's get into the video right let's get into it five golf shots with each of the clubs trying to get some consistency i don't want to just cut and edit them the good shots together because you want to get a bit of a picture of what the driver's like that's a good start 309 170 ball speed uh, and spin rate around the 2000 mark that's important and we'll talk about that in a bit so the epic flash 450 um, versus the 150 driver i mean typically four year old drivers in good condition all goes normally be about the 150 same as the m2 tailor made 2016 version um, and what i want to talk about not only do i want to talk about these drivers but i want to talk about um, uh, launch conditions because that's key the ball doesn't know what it's getting hit by you need to know that spin rate launch angle ball speed that is the formula for hitting a ball a long way now forgiveness feel sound everything else comes into a part and looks of a driver that you want to buy but in essence if you want a ball to go further and you go for a club fit and they've gained you 30 40 yards then it's because of those launch conditions so launch angle about 14 to 15 degrees spin rate around the 2000 to 2500 mark and then ball speed ball speed is always going to be variable per depending on the person but they are the three principles and then everything else is completely down to you whether it's a 50 pound driver or 500 pound driver that is in essence and what you've got to take into account is human error the factors are always going to be larger with the human error rather than the technology now ball speed wise which basically essentially is what manufacturers now talk about when it comes to this is the fastest ever was basically the same with both of these drivers that being said i felt a lot more comfortable with the epic flash for the reasons of it being lighter, the head looking bigger. Um, it felt like it was a lot more suited like in terms of counterbalance for me. Um, uh, however, this one straight off the bat, spin rate was a bit high, but in terms of ball speed and everything else, that was perfect. So when you look at the numbers in a bit with this one, when I hit it out the middle, it goes just as far, maybe a slightly bit back. I'm not going, I definitely got higher ball speed with the Epic Flash, but negligible like when you i've still got to hit 150 yards seven on into the green five yards isn't going to make much difference or four miles an hour ball speed is not going to make much difference however when i hit out the toe or hill i definitely felt it up the shaft and um, i definitely didn't feel as confident with it um uh, but that's not to say that's because of the driver that's down to personal feel and preference you can see that one there high out the toe ball speeds down but spin rate was also down launches up so then the ball goes just as far that is basically physics. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say between these two drivers is that if you purely want to get more distance out of a driver, it isn't always down to their technology. There isn't a super or superior foam, um, jailbreak, whatever they want to call it, behind the face that's going to gain you 20, 30 yards. It's down to the launch conditions of these drivers and making sure that you're not hitting the ball too low on the spin or you're not hitting it um, too high on the spin in terms of launch as well they are the key factors when you want to hit a decent drive now i did ramp it up for a few of them this is my probably the best drive i think this is number six obviously i didn't count this in the um in the numbers or the table at the end however i did hit this one it was rather nice i probably hit it as best as i possibly could you can see the spin rate and there we go 308 carry 172 ball speed which is just as good as the epic so here's the numbers as you can see them 
Ball speed on average was very similar between the two of them. Spin rate was kind of high with the Big Bertha, so I lost some distance there. Launch angle was higher with the Big Bertha as well, purely because I felt it was heavier. Um, I swung it a lot more differently because obviously the club was a lot more behind me and everything else. So then I had to almost change swing. And that's important. Remember, if you get fitted for a driver and then all of a sudden you make a load of swing changes, it's not necessarily going to be the same driver or the right driver for you. So be careful when you go and get fitted that you're quite comfortable with where your swing is. If you're having a series of four months of lessons, don't get fitted at the start or spend a lot of money, I should say, on a new driver at the start because invariably by the end, it probably won't be the same driver or the right driver for you. However, you'll see one in a minute. I hit the epic flash, for example, and I did the same. I went after it just like I did with number six with the um, with the Big Bertha. Big Bertha is on the bottom, by the way. Epic flash is on the top in terms of numbers. Um, uh, and I got 175 out of it. So there's no question that um, in terms of technology, there's definitely advancements, slight advancements, but not as much as they tend to lead you to believe. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave it a like, subscribe, leave me a comment below what you want to see next, and I'll catch you guys later.